Great morning, great morning. Welcome once again to Searching the Scriptures. And we're just going to jump on here right quick. We just had prayer. and But the thought kept coming to me about God's purpose for our lives. And we can get caught up with a lot of purposes as things that, that require uh, or, or continue in a different course. And so we want to seek the purpose, God's purpose for our lives. And um, the song was says, King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Hallelujah. We bow down and say that you are God. Just want to be with you. And my um, brother um, from New Zealand, he is also wrote a song about King of Glory. And uh, I'm going to try to upload that song. But this song, too, I already, um, we sing this over here sometimes in the church. You hear the, the praises. Um, fill this place. And it's not just talking about filling the building, y'all. It's talking about filling our vessels. The, 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 Bible, the Bible said we should be full of the Holy Ghost, full of, of God's Spirit. Christ prayed in John 17 that we would be one, even as he and the Father is one, and that we would be full. We saw Stephen, the first martyr of Christ, was full of the Holy Ghost. And so in the purpose, as we were praying this morning, I, um, we were praying for strength and praying for peace. And the Lord had put in my mind earlier that you can get caught up with the purposes of other people. You can get caught up with causes and the cares of this world. You can get caught up with it. And because you have the anointing, people will pull on you and sift you. It said, because as it said to Peter, the devil desired to sift you as wheat. But I pray that your faith fail not. So the enemy is out to sift us. Uh, and it's to sift us to the point where, uh, 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 like you, like wheat, you know, just get all the good stuff out of you, just sift it. <laughs> but we're going to pray that God will keep us covered and keep our minds on him. He told me, if you keep your mind on me, I will keep you in purpose, peace. But many times we can go to bed and, and it just a flood of thoughts. You know, finances and sickness and, and this problem and that problem and all this stuff starts flooding your soul. But the scripture clearly declared as when the enemy coming like a flood, God will lift up a standard. So we're asking God to lift up a standard in us and that he will keep and God help us to guard our hearts uh, against the adversary, uh, bringing in these false sense of responsibility. You know, we're not responsible to save everybody. The Savior has already, there's only one Savior. His name is Jesus. He is Jesus the Christ. He's the Savior. We are not the Savior. We are just uh, uh, lifting him up and praising him. And that's what we he said. I created you uh, for my glory and, and to, to give me praise. That's what you are, you'll do is to just to lift me up and to give me praise. And then when I am lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Thank you, Jesus. He would do the drawing. And so sometimes we get the false sense of responsibility that we're responsible to save people. We're responsible, you know, like some people say, well, you know, so-and-so is going on. And, and how do you feel about that? Tell them, how do I feel about it? I feel fine about that because Jesus already paid the price. All that we need, Christ has already paid the price for. It. All we have to do is point people to Jesus, okay? We're not the Savior. We got to realize that we are not the Savior. There's only one Lord, and his name is Jesus Christ. And so, um... King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. We bow down and say that you are God. Hallelujah. We bow down and say that you are God. Hallelujah. Uh, and um, I just want to be with you. And this is a song. And so I, that particular tune those little words step, kept coming, King of glory, fill this place. It means God fill us with your spirit. Let us be full of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Full of the wisdom of God. Full, as Giovanna said, full of the, the presence of God, the spirit of God, wisdom and might and understanding. Help us to be full of God. And then we would be the light that Christ has placed in us would draw people. They will see our good deeds and give him glory. Because he, he said, I created you to give me glory. That's what I created you for. So we're going to read a couple of scriptures, brief scriptures out of the word of God. And then we're going to close out because sometimes because of, um, we like, we were, I was thinking about Saul and he said, well, 
the prophet asked him, well, why did you, you know, save all these things? He said, the people, the people. And then Moses had an issue. It's the people, the people. But the people, we got to get detached from people. I think he told uh, Saul, I come to save you from the people. So God needs to save us from people. Okay, he needs to save us from people. Uh, Saul was talking about the reason he got all the stuff and did not fulfill, uh, fulfill what God told him is because the people wanted it. Okay, and uh, Moses didn't go into the promised land because the people got him upset. Okay, it's the people we got to get people, uh, we got to get people out of our spirit and get God inside of us. That's why he said, Guard your heart, guard your heart because people can pull on you and have you going in the wrong direction. And I'm praying, Lord, anybody in my heart that's in the wrong place, take them out, Lord God. They belong to you first. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not their God, and I'm not their Savior. And I pray that you take them out of my heart, whoever they are. Take them out of my heart. Only put in my heart what you want, which God says, love the Lord with all your heart. <laughs> he said, love me with all your heart, all your heart. Clearly, God wants all our hearts. Okay, he don't want to be portion a portion over here for that one, the portion over for that. No, F serve the Lord with all your heart, all our heart. That's what God wants. Okay, and um, my scripture was coming. A couple of scriptures I'm gonna read, and the main thing is this season of time we got to get people out of the place where they are. If they are, are, are abiding in you, you need to put them in the hands of the good Lord because the enemy will use people that you love. And you got them in the place. He'll he'll put, he'll cause things in you. For you know what you offer and look at or money or people or whatever's going on in the world. You got to put God and let Him be the center, the center of your joy and my joy. Okay, Isaiah forty one verses nine to thirteen. It says, "The thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men therefore thereof." And said unto thee, Thou art my servant. So he said, Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and cast and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, so that's, I want to stop there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just picking out things to help us to understand God has chosen us. And therefore, we need to choose God. We need to choose God and let God be the center of everything. It says, behold, verse 1 of chapter 42 of Isaiah. The first one was 41, verse 9 and 10. Now 42, verse 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect, and whom my soul delight, I have put my spirit upon him, and he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentile. Talking about Christ, okay? He shall not cry, nor lift up, uh, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and a smoking flax shall he not quench, and he shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the owl shall wait for his law. Thus says the Lord, the God, that created the heavens and the earth and stretched them out and that spreadeth forth his, the earth and that which cometh out of it. He that giveth breath unto the people upon it and the spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and, have, uh, and will hold thy hand. Now God has called us to righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. And I will hold your hand and will keep thee and give thee as a covenant for the people. Talk about Christ. And the reason this word is applied to us because we are in Christ. We cannot be contrary to the mission and the calls, call of Christ. Okay? Because we are his body. You're not going to have a body which got uh, 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 the hand doing what it's want to do and the feet doing what it's want to do. When we become a part of the body of Christ, we become a part of the cause of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what we got to see. He had to be a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Okay. Our mission. My God. He says, you are my disciple if you do whatsoever I say. Okay. He says, uh, and his servant, he said, my servant. So we'll now become uh, a part of the body of Christ. We are no longer, he said, we are now his friends. And he tells us what the father wants us to do. And that's why we have to understand that God has got to be first. 
and guard our hearts. Okay, that coming out on the 41st chapter, verse 9 and 10 and 42nd. You can read all of the 42nd, also the 43rd. And he says in the 43rd, verse 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Now, you know this scripture relating to this here. When you go through the fire, the, the, the Hebrews boys, okay? The Hebrew boys who purpose to say, we are one with God. We're not bowing down to idols. We're not worried what's, what's happening in Babylon. We are servants of the Most High God. We purpose to keep ourselves spotless before him. Thank you, Jesus. And they went through the fire, but they were not burned. Oh, so we have to understand as vessels of God, we have our allegiance is to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's not to husbands, children, grandchildren, nephews. It's not to anybody. Whatever God purposed for us to do, he said by his perfect will. We was this morning praying, Lord, help us to walk in your perfect will to understand what is your will. He could have said, I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for a ransom to, and Ethiopia and Sebia for thee since thou was precious. We talk about the precious fruit yesterday. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee, and therefore I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Okay? That's the word of the Lord to the people who are serving God. Okay? This is going on down. So you can go on down. I mark verses 7. Everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. So we have been made and formed for the glory of God. And that's what we got to be thinking in this season of time. Don't guard your heart because people will use you use you, and take advantage of you. Well, you are a Christian and I'm supposed to, do, to pull myself out to you? No, I serve the living God. I serve the true and living God. And it's not about anyone else. It's not about anyone else. It's about your connection with God. Listen, Moses lost out the promised land because of the people. Okay. King Saul brought in the, the things that God told him to destroy because of the people. The people can be your enemy in this season of time. And when you let the people tell you what to do, look throughout the scriptures. You can see it's the people. And God told Saul, King uh, uh, Apostle Saul, which be, uh, became Paul that he came to deliver him from the people. I'm going to put that scripture on there too. Okay. He told him, I come to deliver you from the people because the, the striving of the people, the striving of them, we are to strive to please God. So we're going to close out with King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. We bow down and say to you, O oh God, we bow down and say you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And and that, that I'm going to give you the words to that song, okay? Because I did upload it. <laughs> and the one that my brother <clears throat> in New Zealand, uh, it says, We bow down and say you are God. Every man we will bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory. Fill this place. I just want to be with you. If we're going to be with God, we're going to have to start right now. Okay? And I'm going to give it to you, this song. I'm going to give it to you. And the one that my brother um, from New Zealand, I'm going to upload his too. Okay? He said to me through Messenger, all the way from New Zealand. And he talked about the King of Glory too. God is looking for people who is 100% okay for him. Clearly, except you forsake mother, father, sister, brother, children, and everything else, and you're not worthy to be his disciple. He said, you're not worthy. And I want to be worthy to be his disciple. I want to be worthy to be a part of his tabernacle. The tabernacle of God is not going to have all these other thoughts. They're going to 100% be centered on God. That's why he's going to be his abode. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what I say. Lord, King of glory, feel this Place. I just want to be with you. We got to walk with him and talk with him. We can't let, I have grandchildren. I have great grandchildren. I have a daughter-in-law. I have sisters. I have brother. None of them. Not even my, he said, even deny yourself. That's what it is. King of glory, fill this place.
played. I just want to be with you. If we don't want to be with God 100%, we can forget about the rapture. Okay? We can forget about that. Because he only taking those. He, he said those who will serve me with their whole heart. Whole heart. And what part of that has got room for other people? A whole heart means 100%. Okay? You ain't going to be uh, 99 and then one-fourth of him. No. You got to ever empty yourselves and let Christ pour into you. We're going to close out. Father, we thank and praise you for this reminder that we have to wholeheartedly serve you, wholeheartedly be one with you. As Jesus said in John 17, they will be one with you and the Lord as they are one. Help us, oh God, not to be fragment, a little bit over here, a little bit over there, all the cares of this world, our heart being tugged. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, to submit ourselves 100% to you. To understand, Lord God, when we leave this earth, Hallelujah. We are going to be able to stand with you. Even in Revelation, say you're going to give us a new name. And nobody going to know it but you and the person who received the name. And not even our children going to know our new name. You have purposeful to make yourself a tabernacle. A tabernacle of praise that you will 100% inhabit. Not with thoughts over here and things over there. We pray that we will submit ourselves to you 100%. And that not... Your permissive will, but your perfect will be done in our life. As we say yes to your will, your way, and your word. In Jesus' name we pray and count it done. So this was on my mind. King of glory, fill this place. <laughs> Just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. We bow down and say you are God. We bow down and say you are Lord. Hallelujah. Just want to, I won't get all the words, y'all. But anyway, those uh, verses came to me. And it's clearly, he's talking about um, when we keep our minds on God, but we can get caught up and be drawn away because of people. God needs to deliver us from people. Deliver me from people, Lord, whoever they are. <laughs> okay, we love you. God loves you. And I pray this is a little plug in here just to let you see. Uh, God said, I created you for my glory, for his glory. And he, he said, I'm not going to share my glory. <laughs> I will not share my glory with anybody. Didn't he say that? I, he said he will not share his glory. I will not share my glory. And he created us for his glory. And he's not going to share us with anybody. Okay? Just remember that. Push the like button. Encourage somebody else to come along. This is serious, y'all. Okay? Be blessed. Bye-bye. Father, we thank and praise you what our ears have heard and our hearts have felt. May we all enter into your rest and cease from our own labor and cease from trying to please, be people pleasers, God. But help us to understand we have to please you. Yes, we, we were created to worship you. That's our purpose. And all that will be in that tabernacle will be giving you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And we want to be considered worthy to be a part when you make up your jewels. It's in the mighty message name of Jesus we pray. Where we empty our heart of anything that's not like you, anything that is not of you. Thank God that your perfect will be done in us and through us. It's in Jesus' name we pray and count it done. Amen. Push the like button. Encourage us to come along. Be blessed. Okay. <laughs>